In this video, I'm going to show you the BPMN gateways, what exactly they stand for, and also how and when to use them with real life examples. Let's jump right into it. First, what is a BPMN gateway? BPMN stands for Business Process Model and Notation, and is a standard for business process modeling. A BPMN gateway is a certain element within this modeling notation. Within the business process, a gateway is a decision point which influences which of the following paths in the business process will be passed next based on given conditions. Let me give you an example. When someone asks you if you also want to order a pizza, you ask yourself, am I hungry? Based on the outcome of this question, you decide whether you also order a pizza or not. This is a possible representation of a BPMN gateway, because based on the condition if you are hungry or not, you will decide which path you will go, either ordering or not. After clarifying what a BPMN gateway is, let me show you which BPMN gateways we have within the BPMN standard. There are mainly five BPMN gateways. Let me name the five first, and then I'll dive deeper into each of them. The first one is the either or gateway, also called XOR gateway. Here we have two possible forms on how to model this gateway. It's also called the default gateway because it's so commonly used. The next one is the OR gateway. There is a very important difference between the OR and the either OR gateway. I will show you in a second. Then we have the parallel gateway, the event based gateway, and the complex gateway. Now let me demonstrate you each of the BPMN gateways. The either-or gateway represents an either-or decision. We are using either-ors very often in a day, and it's pretty intuitive. Shall I wear the brown shoes or the black ones today? Is the light switch on or off? You would always use the either-or gateway when you want to represent the decision that from here only one path is valid and all the others are not. Let me explain this one. Imagine a self-driving car. While driving, the car is constantly checking traffic lights. After checking the traffic light, the question is, did the traffic light switch from green to yellow? Based on the observation of the car, there are only two options, either yes or not. When the answer is no, then the car keeps its speed, because the light won't turn to red. In case the traffic light switched from green to yellow, the car calculates its behavior whether it should keep the speed, increase it, or start to slow down. Only one and exactly one path is valid here, never both. The question based on an either or gateway doesn't have to be a yes or no question. Yes or no is just very simple to understand. This example is simplified of course, but I think this should explain the concept of either or BPM and gateways pretty good. Let me know in the comment section below if this makes sense to you. Alright, now it's time for the OR gateway. Like I've mentioned in the beginning, there is an important difference between either OR and OR. Usually in our daily conversations, we say OR, then we mean either OR. Therefore, we reference to the either OR BPMN gateway in usual language. The OR gateway is also called the inclusive OR. Why? Let me explain you again with an example. In the end of this video, you are probably going to evaluate this video. This video might be like worthy to you, so you would like the video, or maybe even subscribe worthy, so you would subscribe to the channel, or even something else. The key of the inclusive OR is that at least one path has to be chosen. You can also go multiple paths, or even all, but at least one. That's why we also call it the inclusive OR. To get the concept of this inclusive OR can be a bit hard, as we use OR, like I said, in our daily life as an either or. Now let's jump to the next BPMN gateway. The parallel gateway is used when we want to represent activities that are getting worked on in parallel, not in sequence. A single person in general never does things in parallel. This would be real-time multitasking. We rather do things in sequence. But IT systems or activities conducted by different actors could run in parallel. Let me give you an example here. Let's assume you want to have a call with your boss regarding an event that you've planned. In order to do this, you first write an email to the assistant of your boss. This email needs an approval from the assistant. While the assistant is approving, you are in parallel 
preparing documents for the call with your boss. And when, and only when, you prepared the documents and you got the approval, only then you would call your boss. If you have prepared the documents before the approval has been given, you would wait before you would call your boss. Also the other way around, when the approval got submitted and you have not prepared the documents yet, you wouldn't call your boss either. The parallel BPM and gateway implies that you can only proceed further if all paths within the parallel gateways have been completed. Let me know in the comments if this makes sense to you. The next BPM and gateway is the event-based gateway. It also has a lot of similarities to the previous either-or gateway, because only one path is valid. Imagine the following scenario. It's Friday afternoon, and tonight there is a huge party from one of your working colleagues, but you told one of your friends, who is not really into parties, that you would want to join him for a chill evening, but your friend would need to tell you latest at 7 p.m. if he has time for this evening or not. The alternative would be the party. This scenario implied that we need a gateway which is referring to the event if your friend calls you before 7 p.m. or not. That's the way how we would model this scenario. We have the event-based gateway and after this gateway we have these two possible events. The first event would be the call from your friend and the second one would be the alternative in case your friend wouldn't call at all. So it's 7 p.m. We need this alternative, otherwise we would wait until forever. There is also a parallel event-based gateway. It's simply the combination of event-based gateways and also the opportunity to have parallel valid paths. But for now that's, that's good. Let's jump to the complex BPMN gateway. Do you remember the either-or and the parallel gateway? The either-or described that only one path is valid and the parallel gateway described that all paths have to be finished. The complex BPMN gateway is called complex because we can specify the logic every time we use it. Let me make an example here. Let's say we start a computer system. This system would now do some tasks in parallel. For now, let's call these tasks task A, B and C. When we would use the parallel gateway, then the next steps would only be conducted when all three tasks are done. But let's say we already want to do another task as soon as two out of the three tasks are done. This is how we can use a complex BPMN gateway. This BPMN gateway is based on specification. That makes it very powerful, but also a bit complex. Which one of the BPMN gateways have you already used? And which ones are you going to use more often now? 